Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Madden. Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Indianapolis. Taken at the 15, a short kick. The Dolphins take over first down at their own 29 yard line. Two and a throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now to it. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here? Or just drop everyone in the coverage to crop the throwing lanes? Throwing now is Chugamailoa. Escaping the pressure right. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he'll snag about five yards down at the 32. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. Looking to pass to him. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 12-yard line. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation. They show the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Here comes play number nine now as they come on a third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short on the first down. Tua on fourth down. On the move to his left. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded right around the eight. 
Well, now how about this return? Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again, it's Henry. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. On third down, Henry. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They'll bring a receiver in motion light. A first down throw for Mariota. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. on first down that leads to a second and ten now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here it's a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter so second down and ten once again they'll go from the 40 Mariota gives to Henry and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage Mariota hands to Henry. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Now Mariota. unable to convert here on fourth down and the Dolphins defense is able to hold the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive they'll be looking to duplicate that first drive the one that got them that seven nothing lead of course they would and look they're on the road so getting the seven nothing lead was huge for them right imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road taking the crowd out of the game would be ideal a loss of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and eleven Tua sets up to pass it. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Tua. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. From midfield, here's Tua. Forced out to his left. Going deep here for Parker. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Go, go, go. 
And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right the at the nine-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held him, they might go for it again. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First down, ten. First down carry for Henry. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. First down, Mariota, flush to his right. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. Mariota's throw pulled in by Jefferson. On the move past the 40. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Justin Jefferson as the first half is winding down. And the Colts have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point by Bass. Been good. That is going to tie the game as well. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 21 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On first and 10, here's Mariota. And he's got this to Jefferson. 
touchdown. He'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little quickie at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Mariota now to throw on first down. And that's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. On second down, here's Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in. Coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. A gain of three, second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. Takes this to the 27, giving four yards. Tugamilo going to try and throw on third down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Tongue of Iloa going for it on fourth down. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Going to the air, Tongue of Iloa. Dancing to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on a flash, and he broke out of there, and it forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Meanwhile, to his throw here, taken in by Parker. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Offense was moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they had a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try not to stand before they're backed up even further. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Buying time to his left. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here on EA Sports. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As he'll put it away for the second time. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. 
their own 12-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they look to move it forward here on second and 14. To throw is Mariota. Going up top. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Dave Casper, 92 yards. And the Colts strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. On the move past the 40. It's a big play there for Miami. And even 50 yards. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll look to throw. They'll find Parker again. Complete. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tua fighting Devontae Parker for the touchdown there. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now they try the right side here. Runs over it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 82 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. And a busy night for Henry continues. And he's got it to about the 40. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Last run got a couple here, second and eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
They'll send a receiver here in motion right. A throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Cordero Patterson, 40 yards. And the Colts answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Next report by Bass. Good, good. The lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points are certainly not at a premium here. Two and a throw. Into the hands of Gasicki. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Now Tua. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Tua. This one is incomplete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. That's in the hands of Marshall. He's going to have the first down, and more than that. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Tua. Looking for his big receiver, Marshall. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Sanders on for the extra point. And we may very well be headed to overtime. That ties the game at 21 apiece. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fields this way up at the 17. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. 
And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the same calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Now Mariota. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the Colts who are going to get a chance to win it here first as we're back underway in overtime. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. All set up for them right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime, they've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They give that, oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are gonna take possession of the football. What a big time interception that is here on the first drive of overtime. And now, Charles, they're already knocking on the door with a short field. Remember, all they need is three points to win this game. And that thinking just can't limit them on offense. The playbook should still be wide open. Get a first down, maybe two. Do it safely. Nice throws that your quarterback can make. Nice runs that your running backs like. But make sure you get yourself in position and let your kicker have at it. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to pass to him. This is brought in by Casper. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, where OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Guess who made the tackle? Yes, Reggie White. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll go to Barkley again. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard game. And I know you with every carry, especially in overtime, are say, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Second and goal from inside the five. Barkley. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. So it's a win for the Dolphins here. And it was a strong performance by two that helped lead the way. Yeah, he really had.